Hi guys, I just wanted to shoot this quick video to show you how I made a working Star Trek original series Bluetooth phone speaker communicator. And I did that for under $40. I used the existing toy that's available for $27 on Amazon.com. And then I also ordered from Amazon.com this smart box Bluetooth speaker and phone microphone. Uh, it's under $10, and the reason why I chose this one is because it has a microphone that is on leads, not hard soldered to the board, so it's much easier to relocate to the front of the toy. Take a look. That's the microphone. That's the only modification you'll see on the toy, and that's what you use to talk to people when you make your phone calls. The toy, of course, works like it normally does. Right, this is the captain. And makes all the noises. The way that this system basically works is that I use the common speaker, between uh, the Bluetooth speaker and the toy. They're wired together. The uh, power is shared from the rechargeable battery on the Bluetooth speaker. That is to say that the batteries that the toy usually takes are no longer in the system. By taking those batteries out, there's a lot of room in the case to do what you need to do and allows us to just recharge the device using the rechargeable battery that comes with the SmartBox Bluetooth speaker. Now I'll show you how it works. This video is not really a tutorial, so to speak, but more or less a proof of concept. But by looking at the pictures I'm going to include at the end of this video, you'll see all it takes is a little bit of knowledge with a solder gun and a screwdriver. That's it. But uh, really it's about sharing the power leads, sharing the speaker leads, rewriting the microphone, and that's it. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. On the back, I had to make a few holes in the case using a, a step bit, but a drill bit will do. And this is exposed just to show you where the board sits. Otherwise, there's a nice black cap here, so it is seamless. That is the Bluetooth board, the button that will allow you to accept calls, power the device, pair device, and then a micro USB. Likewise, um, it's also capped here, but I just wanted to show you how it works. Now, all you have to do is, of course, have a smartphone. And let's actually go to the settings here. We're going to go to Bluetooth settings. And let's turn the phone on with a long click. All the sounds you're hearing are coming from the Star Trek communicator. It's waiting for a connection, so we'll turn on our Bluetooth and we'll select the smart box. Bluetooth connected. So the Bluetooth is now connected. That's it. It's just that simple. So let's go back to the phone. Again, because both the toy chip and the Bluetooth chip share the speaker, no functionality from either the toy or the Bluetooth chip are... Um, are missed or compromised. The only thing I decided to do was to turn off this more pattern because the motor in the toy is a little bit too noisy. They'll have to figure that one out. So likewise, the toy works just fine. Now because I'm shooting a video, um, I can't really call myself, but I've called a number of different people and it's very clear. It's actually quite um, quite neat to be talking to people using a communicator. But I guess for today to show you how the Bluetooth ties, let's listen to William Shatner sing an excerpt of Bohemian Rhapsody. Pull my trigger. No, he's dead. Mama. <laughs> I love Shatner, but that's, that's quite enough. Um, so that's that. I suppose we could say, we could see if Siri says something. Hello Siri, what is the weather today? Okay, the temperature today will range between 79 degrees and 91 degrees. So you see the microphone understands me clearly, transmits to the phone clearly, and then also uh, the voice coming out of the 
toy speaker you can understand quite nice. So pretty easy guys and I hope that inspires you all to make one. I know that there are other companies trying to make a higher end version of this. That's fine and good and I'm sure it'll be a great product. But this is a fun, safe project for anyone to try for 40 bucks, why not? And as far as I know, um, I was one of the early order adopters of a Bluetooth high-end communicator that's set to come out. But it's been on pre-order for over a year, so I decided I can't wait. I might as well just make one myself and I hope you do the same. Alright, well enjoy, leave your comments if, uh, if you want, any questions if you want. But again, it's just a fun project for everybody. I hope you enjoy it. See you soon. So I desoldered the cables that went to the two AAA batteries, which is three volts coming off of them in series. This rechargeable pack does 3.7 volts coming off of it. So uh, let's see if you can get this. Uh, if I cannot have to use those batteries, there's a lot of space in the case. I just have to grind out the case. Let's see if I can prop this up. Alright, cool. So check it out. I'm going to power the communicator with the power pack. See that? Alright, done and done. The next step was to share a common speaker. So there's one that's already built into the toy. So I cut this one off with a chip. And there are the two exposed leads. I can't play Bluetooth music and shoot a video at the same time, but trust me, when you hook up the uh, speaker wires into the speaker point on the board, both the on-chip sounds of the characters speaking from Star Trek and the music, or the Bluetooth person you're talking with, comes out the speaker just fine. All right, so here's the Bluetooth chip. The battery is now controlling both the Bluetooth chip and the uh, computer chips on the toy. All right, all off the same battery. They have a common power and they have a common speaker. So how best to test the Bluetooth, but to play something like William Shatner sings Lucy in the Sky with Diamond. And maybe in another video, I'll show you how I made this uh, working uh, Star Trek electronic clipboard, what they call the pad sometimes, and a working Uhura Bluetooth earpiece. All right, guys. Have fun. Bye-bye.